Like so many couples, Joy and Dalen are at odds when it comes to deciding the best form of permanent birth control. She wants him to have a vasectomy, but he's not quite ready to go under the knife. So just to clarify for everyone, Joy, you want him to have a vasectomy. Right. No questions asked. And then, Dalen, you're fearful because you want everything to keep working fine. Well, we're going to show you why a vasectomy is, quite frankly, a pretty simple procedure. And then Dr. Lisa is going to show how tubal ligation is more complex. So you are a man. A vasectomy doesn't change that. This is not castration, OK? And I want to clarify that for everyone at home. Your testicles produce sperm. And then when you do have ejaculation, it comes up through the vast deference here. And that's how you impregnate a woman. Now, a vasectomy is pretty simple. You take this vast deference, vast deference clip, clip, and then two surgical clips are placed on either end so that the sperm can no longer travel out the vas deferens. You can no longer get someone pregnant. It doesn't change anything as far as what your testicles are doing in terms of producing testosterone, all the things that make you a man. Literally, all you're doing is blocking the passage route for the sperm. This usually is done in less than 30 minutes. It's a lunchtime type of procedure. I don't want to, any procedure has risks. Right. But after about a week or so, you're going to feel great. And then after a few months, after you've had your sperm counts tested, then you can go back to having normal sex without other protective methods. Men have to understand, this is not something that causes erectile dysfunction. Does but still come out of there? Is that's, any, that's a good I point. just want to know. Does, does anything come out of there anymore, or is that done? Stuff, that's yeah. You still will produce semen. I'm sorry. No, this is important. I really want to know. And, and, and that's, that's another important point, because men, men don't want to go around shooting blanks. Yeah, that's why I feel like, you know, is yeah. something coming out of there or not? It's semen without the sperm. So you'll still have. So you still a, have the same effect. Same, same effect. effect. It's just no sperm in that. Now, what happens in the woman is, remember, the woman's anatomy has her uterus and her tubes and her ovaries are inside the pelvis, whereas your stuff's on the outside. <laughs> so basically what happens is it all happens in the tubes, OK? The egg is released from the ovary. It comes up into the tubes. And actually, it's a little bit further up in the tubes. And it's met by a sperm. That goes in and starts to form a baby, OK? And then what happens next in a tubal ligation is we pull up a knuckle of tube, we tie it off or put a band on it, and then we cut it. And then you can see the sperm can't get to the egg. It's like a barrier, all right? And there's different options. You can use a band, you can use a tie, um, or you can use cauterization, OK? But what this doesn't show is this is all general surgery for a woman. She has to undergo general anesthesia. Um, it's a laparoscopic procedure, so there are actually more risks of the surgery. There can be, besides a bleeding infection, um, there can also be bowel injury and bladder injury as well. Um, and again, general anesthesia comes with a huge risk. This has to be performed inside a woman, has to be performed in an operating room, whereas yours is an outpatient procedure, no general anesthesia, scalpelless, needless. Well, so what is the recovery period for a woman based, you know, versus a man? About two weeks. Two weeks for a woman then. Mm -hmm. As a man, you're, you're going to go home that day after about an hour. You know, you're, you're going to rest for a few days. But within a week, you should be able to resume normal activities and, and even resume sexual activities. Yeah. Is which this is reversible? Because I've heard that um, the vasectomy is reversible. Well, they're both potentially reversible. But you have to think of any permanent sterilization as permanent because you may oh, not be okay. able to successfully reverse it. And these are really intended as permanent procedures okay. as opposed to these things, uh, contraceptions, which aren't permanent, like, as you know, the condom, female condom, birth control pills, the IUD, um, Escher, which is actually a hysteroscopic procedure where you put coils into the tubes. Um, again, that still takes general anesthesia as well, actually, the Escher.